In this lesson, we're going to take a look at polynomials, what a polynomial is, and then basically simplifying polynomials by adding, subtracting, and multiplying polynomials together. Now, what we have here in the upper left is a polynomial. A polynomial is one or more terms added together. Terms are the things in between the plus and the minus sign. So the negative 7x is a term, the 2 is an e a term, and the 5 x to the third is a term. Now your constant is the one of the terms up here that never changes depending upon the value of x. Well, if x is 1, you'll be able to figure out the value of these terms. But if x is, say, 8, you'll be able to get a different value for these terms. But no matter what x is, the 2 never changes its value. So 2 is referred to con the constant. So two is base, or your constant is the term without any variables. Here, our variable is our x. Sometimes it'll be any other letter of the alphabet, or it could be any other symbol. Coefficients are the numbers in front of your variables, so we would have a five and a negative seven as our coefficients. Your degree is the highest exponent that shows up. And in this case, that would be a three. Now there is an exponent of 1 here, and it has to be the highest exponent on your variable, so there's an exponent of 1 here, even though it's not written. Your leading coefficient is your one of your coefficients here, but it's always got to be in front of the term with the highest exponent. So that would be our 5. So polynomials have one or more terms that are added or subtracted together, and all the exponents have to be either 0. Now, up here with our 2, it's really times x to the 0 power. But remember, x to the 0 power is 1, so we didn't write that. So all of your exponents have to be greater than or equal to 0. And natural numbers, so basically no fractions as exponents and no negatives as exponents. And also, we can't have variables in the denominator. Because remember, if it's in the bottom, that's where you have a negative exponent. So are these polynomials or not polynomials? And why? Well, the first one is not a polynomial because we have a variable in the bottom. So it fails this part of the definition. The second one is also not a polynomial because we have a fractional exponent. Because it says up here, our exponents on our variables have to be zero or natural numbers. And while seven over two is our rational number, it's not a natural number. This one here is not a polynomial because remember, a cube root of an x squared is really a fractional exponent of two thirds. So we really have a fractional exponent on our variable. This one over here, it actually is a polynomial. You might be wondering, well, why? Because we have a root. Well, that root is only over the 3. So that means the square root of 3 is your coefficient. Now, it only says up here that the exponents and the variables have to be 0 or natural numbers. It doesn't say anything about exponents on coefficients. Now, this would really be a 3 to the 1 half power, but the exponents and the variables are a 5 and a 6. So, it satisfies the definition of our polynomial, because the exponents and our variables are positive whole numbers. We have no variables in the bottom, and our variables aren't being multiplied together. So, this is a special polynomial. We have two terms, we call that a binomial. If we only had one term, we would call that a monomial. If you have three terms, you would call that a trinomial. So now, if the directions say simplify, remember that that means to eliminate all parentheses and collect like terms. 